Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure to have you all here today for the third of our annual, Tarina annual celebrations. So we're really happy. See some new faces around here, which is also really exciting for us. We've released uh, our 2016 annual report. And those of you who haven't seen it, you should look for it. It's really exciting. Thank you, Jessica, for putting in all that time to make this a beautiful and amazing report. I begin to sound like somebody you see on TV these days. Amaz it's an amazing report. <laughs> and I really like the way it's been put out. And um, we'll have a chance to talk about that. And we'll spend a lot of time this afternoon talking about the things that many of our scholars and students and postdocs have been doing in the field. This year, as an innovation, we're also going to have people zoom in from India. So you'll see some videos coming in from India from the field showing people that are in the field doing some serious work. Um, I have a few more things I want to say, but let me hold on to that and let's um, give the floor first to Max Pfeffer. Max is the Senior Associate Dean at the College of Agriculture. And um, Max has another appointment upstairs at 3.30. So he wants to make sure he has a say before. I continue rambling on, so Max. Thanks, I think. So he never rambles on. It's always I always uh, listen with rapt attention. So th thank you, Prabha, Prabhu. Thank you, Jessica, for pulling everything together. And it's nice to see you all here this afternoon. Um, one of the things that I want to do first and foremost is bring you warm greetings from Dean Boer. And, uh, and I speak also on uh, behalf of all the faculty of the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences to welcome you here this afternoon and also to congratulate all of you that are involved with the uh, Tata Cornell Initiative and on all the things that you do. And you know, the first thing I want to do today, or the main thing I want to do, is focus on the students. And you, you, most of you arranged, I noticed there's a whole clump of students over here so I can talk to you. And, and uh, one of the things that I, I'm most excited about and what, uh, what's happened with the TCI is the student engagement. And you know, you guys are really at the center of everything uh, we're doing at Cornell. Uh, you're very much at the center of what's going on with TCI in a very, very important and uh, profound way. I'll tell you, at the university, there's a real interest right now in internationalizing the student experience. And there's also a, a big emphasis that I think you've all heard about, about engaged learning. And so TCI does all, both of those. Uh, it brings uh, students uh, together, uh, brings them, gets them out in the field, gets them dealing with uh, real world problems of major, major importance and significance. And nothing could be more exciting in terms of what uh, you're doing. Uh, you're the future leaders of the country and that's what we're proud uh, to, be, uh, to have here is to be preparing you for your leadership into the future. So that's the first thing I want to uh, say. And I, I want to also say, mention in that regard that you're con carrying on a tradition that's very profound in this college uh, you know, our, uh, we had just uh, about two years ago celebrated 50th anniversary of our international programs uh, group, uh, which is uh, astounding. Uh, for more than a century, uh, this college has been engaged actively internationally. Uh, in, you know, in the 1920s, we sent an agricultural economist and a plant breeder uh, to China. Uh, to help them work through the famine that was taking place at that time. So that's not very much different than the kinds of things that the TCI students are working on uh, at this time in, in, in our history. So that's uh, one thing. So you're, uh, you're, you're uh, building on this long tradition and you're building and deepening our, our true and abiding interest in international development in this college. So that's, that's an important thing. The other thing you're doing 
is uh, working very uh, closely on issues of poverty and equality and food and nutrition security, which is something that's so central to the world, especially as we have burgeoning populations. Uh, in fact, food and nutrition security is one of the strategic priorities of our college as we go forward and thinking about what kind of research we do, what kind of professors we hire. So you're working, helping us work uh, on this uh, strategic priority. It's a strategic priority for our college, but it should be a strategic priority for the world, right? Uh, because we're facing very many challenges. Not only the population growth, which we talk about all the time, uh, big populations in places like India, but also because of the changes that are happening in the world. Uh, climate change, right? And all the consequences that they have, one of which is the threatening of food and nutrition security, right? And so that's something that's very important. That, too, is a priority, a strategic priority area of our college. And then another thing that you're working on that I think is really important is socioeconomic resilience in the face of these types of major changes, uh, major disruptions, uh, disruptors. That might be from natural disasters, they might be from social disasters, and they might be from the steady, steady drumbeat of climate change upon us. And so this kind of, we have to build resilience into the, into the world. And I think a lot of the work that's going on in TCI contributes to that kind of socio-ecological resi resilience. Another priority, strategic priority of our college. And one of the things that I, I'm sorry I won't be able to hear all the presentations this afternoon, but one of the things I'm excited about, especially in India, and we know there's lots of possibilities for bringing communication and uh, information technology to bear on these types of problems in the world. And that's another priority for our college. And I know that you guys are looking at ways to use technology uh, in, a, in new and, uh, and effective ways. So those are all some things that I think are, are really important. The students are at the heart of that. And I think TCI brings the students and makes the students uh, at, the, at the heart of that. Um, so I want to thank the students for their energy and their creativity and bring, coming to all of this. Uh, also, I know that uh, TCI has a growing number of professors that are working with that. So thanks to the professors for their dedication, uh, for their advising of students, and their mentorship as well. That's a really uh, central part uh, of the university. And then finally, uh, thank you to Prabhu. Prabhu, thank you for your leadership at TCI. I see nothing but good things happening here. And, uh, as I say, I, I, I'm sure everybody's going to enjoy hearing about what's going on this afternoon. So thank you very much, and have a great afternoon.